English sprachen. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dominic Sky is in the house. Uh, yes, sir. So, today, our first take English podcast. So, I would like to welcome Dominic Sky and thank you for coming to my place. We were talking about this for phew, like a couple of years. Yeah. But this is the first time you're here, so welcome. Well, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. So. so how will we start this mm. podcast? You, you are also a Slovenian guy. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm from Slovenia, but my Slovenian is <laughs> not the best. I was actually happy when you said we could do this in English, because I don't think I've ever uh, spoken in Slovenian. Oh, funny. For more than 30 minutes. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit, like, I need to get my... Cause also, terminology for, for training, like, in Slovenian, yeah, just not the easiest for me. So, it's on contrary. For me, uh, I always speak Slovenian, and now uh, I, I'm going English. Uh, I have to practice more, because I have decided also to work on my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. I see you are very successful on YouTube. You have now 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Could have been more successful if that would be the, the goal. Okay. But back, like, back in the day, for me, it was only about um, exposing your practice instead of what I think a lot of people are doing these days, which is uh, practicing for exposure. Okay. <laughs> and doing something just to film yourself and then post. Um, but I think it's a great idea, actually, you going on YouTube, because uh, in, uh, in today's world, there's a lot of kinesiologists, I feel, and young uh, coaches for strength, and they're not really good. Yeah, of I think course. your knowledge is very needed in, uh, in today's world. Uh, old school, real type of training. Uh, yeah, you have to train seriously if you want to get some results. Yeah. Otherwise, you are just making a fool of yourself. And yes. everybody can see this uh, when you show yourself on the screen. Yeah. No bullshitting here. Yeah, yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, no bullshit approach. That's, that's what it's about for me. Yeah. So, yes, I, I, I have seen everything that you did in the past. It was all crazy tricks and stuff stuff it's amazing and you deserve uh, respect from everyone uh, you did uh, high jumps uh, how, how tall was that uh, you know your backflip ah uh, yeah it was uh, seven seven meters so. seven meters and yeah. what's the feeling is like when you land the forces uh, are great I, I would say oh the forces are yeah good um, it was a little bit faster than I expected. The 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 landing, yeah, uh, or yeah, the yeah. whole the whole flip. Because I jumped in water from seven meters, and it's a, it's a nice feeling and everything. But uh, when it's solid ground, I remember like I, I jump up. I have a special technique, so I jump to not over rotate. That would mean a certain death. So uh, I jump up, and then I look upwards. So when I start rotating, then when you see the ground. It's like the, I was falling extremely fast, faster than, I mean, that maybe sounds obvious, but yeah, it was faster than I expected. So I just like tightened everything up as best as I could. Only your uh, neck went into my neck extension. Did, uh, yeah, and neck was sore for a couple of days, but that's about it. But it's funny how people write, oh, your knees must have hurt or your ankles must have hurt, but it seems like they're always writing the stuff uh, that they're feeling pain or like if they have hurt yeah, knees, they're like, oh, your knees. Yeah, I feel felt nothing in the knees, felt nothing in the ankles, nothing in the hips, nothing in the lower back. Yeah, um, they can relate to knees, of course. Yeah, yeah, knee pain seems to be a common problem, but uh, yeah. So you have a new thumbnail, a new title for a video, knee pain, how to solve <laughs> how knee to pain solve in five pain. steps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. yeah, I saw your neck and I was thinking the neck must have hurt. Mm. Yeah, thank God I have pretty good neck flexion. So, yeah, 
But I think flexibility and strength definitely helped in that case uh, for nothing to pop or tear. Uh, Nevertheless, we have to train neck as well. And don't forget about training your neck. If you do I mean, martial arts, if you do hockey, football, everything, you need neck. Yeah. Yeah, some people are afraid that you're going to injure it, but it's, uh, it's, you're more probably going to injure it if you don't train it than it's if you do. Uh, part of your body, it's spine. If yeah. you do good mornings and back extensions, you can do neck extensions. It's the yeah, same thing. Yeah, you train shape. your wrist, your bicep and everything, so why not the neck as well? Uh, everything, yes. So, you were focused to becoming the best athlete possible. And of course, the focus changes over the years. We can't stay at the same point. When mm. you get to a certain realization, you must go on. Yeah. I, I, I'm seeing you doing some martial arts, boxing, and you were also arm wrestling sometime. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, hmm. I always try to uh, find when I'm, what I'm interested in and then go in that direction. For a, for a while, it was arm wrestling, grabbed my attention, I, and then I immediately, uh, the way I go about it, I study the best guys, I'm like, who's the best there ever was, who was the first guy who did it, then I studied the history of it, I went through like John Berzenk and Alexei Vovoda, and I did the same with gymnastics or Olympic weightlifting or powerlifting. Uh, I just see it, if I like it, I see who's the best guy who's ever done it, who's the OG, and then I, uh, learn as much as I can about the sport. And then if after a year or two years, I'm like, ah, this is not that interesting anymore, uh, then I go and do something else. And that's, mm. that's okay as well. So, but somehow, yes, yeah, strength training was kind of the, the, mm, the connecting thread, I would always say. It was always strength. Strength was always very interesting. Uh, Assistance for work for everything. Hmm? Assistance yeah. work for everything. You, you are... Weak is never, uh, if you are strong, you are never weak. Yeah, yeah. So oh, that's good. That's a good quote. That's a quote from Mark, Mark Smelly Bell. Ah. You know, yeah. Mark Smelly. Mark Smelly. Mark, Mark Bell. He Mark Bell. owns the company of Slingshot and all the equipment for powerlifting oh, okay. in the United States. Um, he's he's a good the... powerlifter. He said, uh, strength is never weakness. Mm. So, yeah. And you're as strong as your weak link, that might not be. So in my case, it was always a goal not to be weak at something. That was actually yeah. more important than being the strongest at something. Instead of having the best way to pull up, I was like, I want to be good at like everything. Calisthenics, like fitness as well, powerlifting, uh, I like all of it. Uh, yeah, I saw. All of it is good. It's yesterday you posted uh, 100 the guy uh, doing planche and also he has yeah. 300 kilos of uh, squat and something like yeah, that. Yeah. So strong in all compartments. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, but it's hard to combine everything. Oh, most definitely, yeah. Some people then think, oh, look, like, leg training goes hand in hand with planche or something. Mm -hmm. uh, no, nah, not really. Like, you're making it's it more hard. difficult. Very hard. But it's nothing wrong to have two goals that are maybe opposites of one another. Having a good squat and having a good lower body mobility. Maybe they don't go really hand in hand, but it's good to have both, even if they're not maybe on the highest level. Yeah, it depends how you train. Yeah. If you go full range of motion, then you can yeah. achieve everything. Indeed. But just uh, slower progression, you can't use yeah. such big weights with full range of motion front squat that is Total mobility work or yeah, overhead. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So strength work can also be mobility work. I think that's you. Yeah, it's just yeah. if why not just practice a full range of motion? Yeah. And yeah, I had a coach, Matyaj Ariavc. Ariavc, he's a coach from Ljubljana, Slovenia, of course. Uh, and he is talking about you know there are so many people doing lots of uh, mobility like separate training and mm. self-massage, foam rolling and all mm. this uh, uh, CNS hacking. Mm. But the real deal is uh, weighted eccentric work that you uh, get like certain structural modification of your muscles that you Indeed. 
stretch them for sure. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. True, true yeah. stretching is weighted stretching. Yeah, yeah, and build some strength in that range as opposed to just like passively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, your, you can see type of if stuff. you try to learn male split, for example, mm -hmm. not using weights, it's like you just get stuck. You don't get over that, you know, less than 10 centimeters. Mm. If you put a weighted vest on yourself, it's like easy peasy. Well, uh, you still have your middle split? You had a great middle split mm, back in the day. I yeah, I, I, at the moment not, but if I would take like... 14 days or maybe oh, one nice. month to take it easy. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to uh, put a strain on my body. I'm now 38 years old and I can see the difference uh, in training. But still, if I would uh, relax a little bit, yes, I would have it very fast. It's not a big deal. Well, if I may ask, what was the most beneficial thing that you feel like you did for middle split? Because I'm also there, but it's like luck. Ah, it's just, uh, it was for me, middle split, it was just like, uh, like Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, mm. he was like a role model to me and it looks uh, good to do a, a split. Yeah. And I was, uh, at the, that time, I was doing lots of slackline training, balance. Mm oriented training in nature and also some Shaolin stuff, martial arts, yoga, uh, all kinds of projects like standing on one foot for eight hours, on, oh, shit. on four limbs, four hours, or walking down the hill uh, on all fours. You know, Shaolin, oh, me and my friend, we were thinking what those bastards Shaolin they do to so that they mm -hmm. become so good. And then we were like, of course, crane style, let's do this. And then it was like uh, one year of one leg, one leg standing all the time. No, we were no standing like two hours in my basement. Then we were like, oh, fuck this basement. Let's go outside. We were hopping on one leg. We went uh, outside and then two more hours on that leg. And then we changed switch foot to other leg and wow. all kinds of projects, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. So, and in the meantime, we were also doing slackline walking mm -hmm. and then, you know, you have uh, trick, trick line, tr tricks being made on slackline. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't want to do uh, flips and all mm -hmm. these uh, tricks because they were like dangerous to me. So I mm -hmm. was like into slackline yoga, you know, more uh -huh. breathing. You can be mm -hmm. a monkey on a slackline and you can be a monk on a slackline. So the monk idea is to stand still on a slack line. Uh, so nice. the slack is like this and you are trying to, to put all the interoception, proprioception to become one unit mm -hmm. and become still. So uh, that was how that picture got made with you in the like a uh, pancake or. A, yeah, you know, I have a couple slack of them. Line. Was it was just awesome. a promotional. Yeah. It's crazy picture. If you saw it, check it on Google if you Good want. Sir. Slackline split, uh, Simon Grigion, and you will see it. It was, but I spent a lot of, lot of time. Lot it was like time. two years of a daily work on the middle split, or a day I would, off or I would, I no, I, I was never a, a uh, type of person to stick to one regime only because mm. I hate it. Also now I'm doing oh, yeah. conjugate training system when I rotate, rotate stuff that I train, but I hate linear progression all the time. I uh, hate uh, programs that are just this and that. So yeah. it's by the feel. Sometimes I went running, sometimes I was just breathing, doing mm. pranayama meditation for three mm. hours, everything yeah, yeah. endurance mm. stuff. And sooner or later you, you get to somewhere, you realize something and then you have a new, a new knowledge to put in your basket to become a good coach. Yeah. You can be a good coach, okay, you can be a good coach in specific area, but I think it's better to mm. be a good coach in, in, mul yeah, yeah. in yeah. multi areas. You have yeah. more uh, tools yeah, to work yeah. with people. Yeah, that's 100% that's true. Uh. So the split, yeah, it was from martial arts. I was training uh, karate, kickbox, Muay Thai, 
some Shaolin Kung Fu, um, some grappling, but I didn't like mm. grappling so much. And yeah, I, I had. How about the, the, have you ever done the, the horse stand squat? Like for a, five a, minutes. Uh, five minutes. But the 90 degrees angle. 90 degree angle. Five minutes intervals were the, the main idea. The, at that time I was training uh, Sasha Faric. She was uh, driving uh, ski, ski, uh, you know, five yeah. people or four people go ski cross, uh, like Philip Flisser. Ah, okay, yeah, I yeah. was helping her to prepare for the Olympics in Sochi and we were doing lots of Mabu uh, training. That's a static, static squat. But now I like more uh, one minute sets. No, one minute sets. If it uh, translates to strength endurance, if we go maximum effort is five seconds, mm. five seconds is enough. Uh, you, did you ever do it weighted or? Also, yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, whatever you can think of, I tried it, yes. for sure. Okay. I also hang uh, weights from my dick and my balls. That's okay. Shaolin, Shaolin stuff, you know, <laughs> when they hang uh, the weights from uh, the groin area. What's the purpose of it? Like to strengthen something? Yeah, you have like... these pyramidalis muscles. Uh, oh, okay. There are some benefits to training your... Oh, shit. Yeah, lower compartment, <laughs> but the point is just that I always try everything uh, mm. because you can yeah. learn from everything if you are open-minded. Yeah. If yeah, 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 that's if very you have the, the guts yeah. to be open-minded. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, some people have a predetermined idea that it's uh, it's not gonna work, and then even when they try something, it's like uh, you you don't get the full benefits if you don't have an open mind. The more you the more you you learn from Asia and Chinese, the deeper you go. If you mm. see Ido Portal, he yeah. learned tons of uh, from Kung Fu masters. He, yeah, yeah. He wrote you have uh, fiber uh, fiber one, fiber two, A, two B, yeah. and then you have Chinese fibers. Super fiber, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Chinese would, super fiber. Yeah. But yeah, the, I was just explaining this to my friend because he's doing some handstands and then uh, Ido wrote, I think in that very article uh, that the Chinese national uh, gymnastics team spends uh, 30 minutes in a chest wall handstand like every Saturday or Sunday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like 30 well, fucking minutes. I heard like, one hour. Jesus. I heard one, one hour. hour. <laughs> that's Shaolin. That's, that's everything like, from yeah, Shaolin yeah. Temple, you know? Mm. Because Shaolin's... They are like, uh, now they are 55th generation of monks. Oh. So consider this. You have people that start training at age of four or five and they train till they die. Okay? And now you have 55 generations of such people in a certain secluded area and they, they don't fuck, they don't drink, they don't do shit, they just train, eat, sleep all the time. Wow. Imagine the knowledge they must have attained because of mm. so many experiments they did. Yeah. You know, you have one finger Zen, high tank master, he does a uh, handstand on one finger. One finger. Right. His body weight should be, I think, 50 kgs. But this, yeah. yeah. But one finger Zen. Yeah. Because he, uh, Shaolin Temple was always attacked from some robbers and wild mm. animals and even though they were Buddhists, they were doing uh, Zen, Chan uh, meditation, so non-violence, blah, 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 mm. but still they had to protect themselves. Mm. And so if you are a small little Chinese guy, 50 kgs, and someone attacks you, you don't have to be strong. You just use one finger because the pressure on such uh. small point, he just uh, cut you through, you know? He goes inside. Oh, wow. There's a f video footage of a uh, um, boxing bag uh -huh. filled with sand. You know, yeah, sand, yeah. it's sand very hard for. Yeah. And he just uh, makes a hole inside, like, bam, and then the sand goes out. <sighs> and then th there are uh, trees in Shaolin uh -huh. Temple with uh, such holes inside because they were doing 3,000 times Jeez. a day. 
with finger in, you know, they were the tree. <laughs> shocking the tree so long that now they are holes in the temple. Jesus Christ. They are, they are crazy. They are yeah, for that's sure. crazy. Yeah, that's a very tough physically, but mentally, fuck me. Yeah, I would. Yeah. But, uh, Ooh, Jesus. but if we think about training, mm. you have, you know, a lot of people, they train muscles. Mm. They are thinking only in terms of muscle strength, yeah. muscles. Yeah. But if you're a serious athlete, you have come across injuries multiple times. Mm -hmm. And it's always the ligaments that suffer in the end. Yeah, yeah. That's why we really need to also work high reps, low mm -hmm. weight stuff. They are, they are there for, for a reason. Yeah. I would also say it works positive, uh, positively on recovery. Everything. Yeah. You, you feel better if you do high reps as well. Reps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't neglect uh, 5 kgs, uh, 10 uh, pounds uh, dumbbells mm. to do shoulder stuff, everything like 50 reps, yeah. 100 reps. It's mm. very, very important. You get really strong by this, like Shaolin strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like workers when they hammering nails every day and then you shake his hands like, fuck that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it seems that's not much needed in world in the world, but uh, yeah, at home it's still like that. Like when when I'm at home in the casino, it's is like you still yeah, people are strong. Uh, people are strong. They yeah. are working hard. Yeah, they're working. Yeah, I see my brother. He's out all fucking day moving some stuff around. Like he's uh, yeah, he's being active. Uh, it's good stuff. His older brother. Or... I have uh, three brothers and one sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a brother is one year younger. He right now he owns the farm and everything, so he's uh, he's the man in charge. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, shit, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, and you have your gym there on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on his uh, property, so to speak. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving it someday in the future, but I'll see. For now, I'm just so much so focused on my uh, uh, MMA goals and everything. I want to turn professional next year. Uh, in MMA, so I'm I'm living like a gypsy, like I'm in Ljubljana right now. I just got together with some uh, uh, with Slovenian organization. I think it's Valhalla Fight Night. Okay. Uh, so they're uh, they're gonna fix me a fight in January. So I can, right now I'm probably gonna go and stay in Ljubljana for a couple of weeks. So I can, yeah, maybe I even come here and train if that's okay with you. The morning crew is free, so every. Every day in the morning, you are welcome. At nine o'clock, we start. You have free lessons in the morning? What? Free gym. Morning crew is free. My idea is like this. This, this comes from West Side Barbell. Uh -huh. uh, so, I like to train. I live for training. This is my passion. And, but I also have to live. So mm -hmm. in the afternoon, evening, I have customers, clients mm -hmm. that I train, but in the morning, it's my time. I don't want to become a businessman. I'm mm -hmm. an athlete. I okay. just do business to support my life. Yeah. But I still yeah. train. We are very yeah. alike, I think. I think so too, yeah, like yeah. you said. So the idea in the morning is I would like to have a good culture of training here with people that I like. And we train together because it's, it's, it's better to train with other people. That There mm. is a quote, don't be a lone wolf. Mm. I don't want to become a lone wolf. Because, you know, it's, it's lonely at the top. If you really dedicate oh, yourself yeah. and train all the time, you can be very lonely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you are most welcome here in the morning crew. We are training everything, so it doesn't matter. Uh, every, every morning at 9 a.m. we start. Man, that's a that's a great idea to have something for for free for other people to join. I think that's welcome. Come and stuff. train. It's easier, you know, if you do heavy squats and then reverse hypers and then sled mm. work. You know, the the plates yeah. all the time plates. So if we are three people, it's like bam, bam, bam. Everything goes uh. smooth. If you are alone, yesterday I did uh, 610 kgs of sled. That was 20, 20 sets, each set one plate up. So oh. if I'm alone here, my, my workout was like uh, Kyriakos Grizzly from Greece 
only sled because it took me one hour to, to, to do this. <laughs> and then I have to, again, you know, put it down and then in the afternoon for, for, for clients. So it's what, did, what did you do with the sled? Like, do you push pull, it? You pulling, 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 pulling. It's like oh, a so deadlift assistance ah, work. And then so it's backwards. trapezius, back, oh. upper back, glutes, posterior chain, quads, uh, and traction. Mm. I was talking to Matt Wenning, uh, he was also in West Side Conjugate Training, and he said to me, more traction, more traction, less compression. If you're doing all the time oh. compression, you know, from squats, yeah. deadlifts and everything, your spine gets fucked up sooner mm. or later. Mm. In the beginning phase, when you're doing yeah. accumulation, I see you're doing now lots of reps, uh, six reps, yeah. It's okay, but then when you start yeah. picking yeah. and going there, you are fucked up from all that volume. Yeah. yeah. And then you put uh, another yeah. load and yeah. I, I have come to that same point so many times mm. that I started listening to people like Matt Wenning, Louis Simmons. Mm. So always when I do heavy squats, it's like 20% of uh -huh. training is that heavy stuff. And then it's sled work and reverse mm. hypers there in the back to get traction mm. or back extension or hanging abs, you know, that yeah, you yeah, separate yeah. your, yeah, your yeah. spine. Yeah, yeah. Makes, because makes, compression makes all the time, we won't yeah. get far. If yeah. we want to train till we are 100 years old, we have to be smart. <laughs> yeah. It's very... And I like how you say it, the closer you get to the peak, the... the the more important it is not to do too much volume or something, the easiest you can get fucked up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the training also changes depending on which level are you. If you have a good beginner, he can squat two, three times a week, no problem. Mm -hmm. But the higher you go, the more forces you're dealing with, yeah, you have to be smarter about it. Mm -hmm. Just because it worked for some period of time, it doesn't mean it's going to work forever. Yeah, of uh, course. And uh, Westside teaches also that so if you do 20% of heavy power lifting or strength uh -huh. training, 80% is assistance work. Mm. So like you said, weak link determines the strength of the whole mm. chain. So you must do a video, make analysis. You see, mm. uh-huh, weak point. This is weak point. You can see that biomechanically you turn somewhere. Mm. Why? Because this is stronger than this. And then you have to work on that weak spot with assistance work mm. but sled work works you yeah, have yeah, yeah. if you have some uh guys you know louis learned that from uh, some finnish dude uh the the strongest people in deadlift were lumb lumber jackers uh, yeah they were pulling uh, you know wood uh, and stuff with chains and also if you mm. see from animal mm. kingdom the, pool, yeah. the working horses, they were pulling uh, mm. like sled pull. They are fucking yeah. huge. And it's like bulletproof uh, workout. You can, your body doesn't know where, where you are using the weight. So mm. you can use 500 kgs pulling yeah. and your nervous system uh, is getting a signal to become strong, but your spine is not being overused. It's like mm. the same, like belt yeah. squatting and yeah. everything that strengthens the whole body, but without the spinal pressure all the mm. time. I see. And yeah. it's concentric. I have seen wow, you, you yeah. have done a lot of concentric, cool. not eccentric, yeah. because you can train more often. Mm. You are not so sore. So you can do, this is like a bike. It's concentric in yeah. nature. So it's very how about how do you uh, what kind of uh, uh, time intervals do you usually use when you do you it? You can like play anywhere from what thirty seconds one. Minute? Yeah, you can play. It it, it depends. It, you can use sled for uh, GPP, so mm. general physical preparation, low weight, high volume. Mm. Then you can be more specific. You can do sprints like ten to fifteen seconds just for if you uh, have a fight, bam, 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 and out. Right. Yeah. So Tabata training, then uh, you can go to uh, strength. Uh, so like 30 seconds, this is hypertrophy. Mm. And maximum strength, it's singles, like uh, all out, uh, pff, yeah, 10 How seconds. How much weight you said you put on? Yesterday, Yeah. 610 kilos. 
610. And you could still move it for a... For a yeah, it's distance. six times my body weight now. Mm. But I'm seeing Kyriakos Grizzly from Greece. He does mm. eight, 800. But he has uh, 200 kilos body weight. Ah, okay. He's a big dude. Awesome. He's the biggest dude on, <laughs> on YouTube at the moment. Oh, he's shit. bigger than uh, Brian Shaw and Jesus. he's like 200 kgs full. <laughs> it's like, uh, how heavy are you? I'm full heavy. <laughs> so that's the idea. But I don't want oh, to shit. be like him. My goal now is to maintain 100 kgs and become the best as possible to do human flex, front levers, back levers, mm. 200 kg squat, deadlift uh, and bench press. I would like to do 160 kilos now. Bench 160. Where are you now? Uh, 120, uh, 30? In, on Monday, I did 143. Uh, for a single or a... Single, but mm. with a pause on oh, pin. So yeah, like I down, so breaking, and then from zero. So to move 143 kilos, you need 150 kilos to start moving mm. such weight. If you, it's the same idea like box squatting. You uh, make yeah. a box, uh, you make a squat, you separate eccentric and from concentric yeah. to not use stretch reflex. Yeah. So uh, you I make saw it. You did them just last week or so. Yeah, uh, I did uh, three reps with 170 kilos, but with such an ease, really, such an easy, easy reps like uh, that scale uh, rate of perceived uh -huh. exertion. It was like pff, six, but oh, all nice. from sled work and reverse hypers because my back got stronger. Before I was that calisthenics guy, you know, I was skinny. <laughs> I had 80 yeah. kilos of skinny weight uh, and now for the last uh, seven years I dedicated uh, my life to learning this uh, from my mentor Ernie Gregorcic, this conjugate west side training, but not for equipped lifting but for raw lifting and you can apply this to calisthenics to whatever. Mm. Uh, I'm helping some guys from street workout Jan Jankovic, uh, Boštjan Novak, they are competing in street lifting. And oh, I'm so. helping them to learn some stuff, you know, because if you do over and over the same thing, over and over again, yeah. you will get fucked up. The, yeah. small, the small muscles will, will show you who's the boss. Yeah. And uh, there are lots of ways how to go around that. So. That's mm. the idea. Uh, and sled definitely, definitely helps to, to, to become better. Because you mm. can deadlift every week. If you deadlift every week, you will get fucked up for sure. Sooner yeah, or later. heavy uh, every week, yeah. For me, deadlift is like a tester, not mm -hmm. a builder. To you see have, where your lower back strength is at. Measure, you have yeah, testers yeah. and builders. Yeah, yeah. And also, you know, partial lifts, you have uh, rack pulls and everything. Yeah, yeah. You don't always have to go from the bottom, mm. but you don't always have to go from knee height. You can also go from deficit and yeah. who determines yeah. what is strength and what is the, the true uh, correct lift. Yeah, yeah. I think everything can be used uh, for good stuff, yeah. Sometimes you can use uh, top range of motion, chin-ups, and then some person wrote to me, zero reps, zero reps, zero reps. Uh, I'm working on something specific mm -hmm. here. Like, it's all it's good stuff. You can work on bottom position. You can, yeah. Also, all of yeah, also on, in stretch position, you know? Mm. You think that only this counts. No, yeah, this yeah, also yeah. counts. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. All of it, yeah. Yeah, all of it can be trained. As a, uh, hmm. Here I think people get confused because I think they see too much stuff all at once. How do you uh, how do you start training somebody if they if they're a beginner they show up? Uh, they show up. Yeah. Sled would be a Sled good idea. Would be a good idea. Huh? Hello, welcome. Sixty kilos at once. Yeah. It's, you know, it's almost no mobility required. Yeah. It's you are doing safe, ankle mobility. You're doing, yeah. You're strengthening the knees, the hips, everything. The idea is like. Mm. A lot of, most of the people, they lose dorsi, dorsiflexion. Mm. 
So ankle mobility is issue number one if we go from bottom up. Yeah. So when you lose ankle mobility, your squat sucks. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So if you if you consider sled pushing mm -hmm. when you are walking in front, and if you are doing the technique uh, heel down, ah. you are doing ankle mobility, mobility. and yeah. you are warming up whole body, everything. Yeah. And it's weighted mobility. Yeah. yeah. Man, I need to get a sled now. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, strength, strength, also, strength, so. strength shop. Strength shop Germany from Europe. Oh. Uh, they have this small plate and you just put plates on it and oh. uh, some belt and you can, you are good. Yeah. Or use a normal uh, tire from ah. oh, tra shit. Tra yeah. tractor, or how do you call yeah, it in yeah, English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that would work. Yeah. Tire or whatever, something oh. that you are dragging behind, and you oh, can okay. put then plates inside. How about where is the the like the the anchor point? Is it at hips or like? Uh, I have to or? to you can you can put the belt around okay. your uh, around your waist uh -huh. to not use your hands uh -huh. if you are saving them for next day oh, okay. upper body. But you can also look uh, there uh, gymnastic rings. Uh -huh. You can use gymnastic rings. You can. Uh -huh. I also have a neck harness. I'm uh -huh. doing so sled can... work with my neck with a... in the uh -huh. back and in the side. Lateral. I did this as well. Okay, I did. We tried it with a car once. I got a good thing going on, so I tried it with the neck as well. Ah, so all of it you think is, is good uh, stuff. Posterior huh? neck extension, neck extension, yeah. back, going back. Yeah. I Always think, yeah, posterior yeah. work. Posterior, mm. posterior, posterior. Ah, because okay. you yeah. have uh, you have gas. Gas and brakes. Ah. A lot of people, the body is like this. You have, if we oversimplify, you have one bone. Mm. Here is one muscle, here is another muscle. Ah, okay. So this is yeah. gas, this moves you, this breaks you, uh. Uh, stops you. So if this is stronger than this, this will break. Mm. So we are always pushing, pushing, pushing. We have to pull. Yeah. yeah. So, posterior chain, posterior yeah. chain. Somebody wrote, I, I remember a while back, uh, I, I can't remember the guy's name, but he wrote the anterior chain makes you look good on the beach, posterior chain makes an athlete. Yeah. Uh, I thought that and you an need both quote. of them. You need both, yeah. Because okay. then, then you have another problem. Posterior chain works, yeah. let's do this shit. Yeah. And then you forget to train your abs, hips, and all yeah. other yeah. stuff. And then people walk like this, like they just see the... Posterior chain is strong, but yeah. Weak, so yeah. last time I did a car vlog, I said something on this on this topic. It's like when you when you are thinking what you should be training, mm -hmm. think what you are not training. Simple. We'll say it again. Can you say it again? Just to when you are thinking think what should I be training, uh -huh. just think what you are not training. Ah, simple. Oh, because nice. this that if you don't train, this will become your weak link for sure. Mm. So the more you think about what you are not training, the better. It's Bruce Lee. Yeah. Bruce Lee logic. It's Bruce. you have to train everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you become better. So for sure, if your goal is martial arts, train your fucking neck. Yeah. Mike Tyson. He was, I, I, I'm watching you do his uh, jump roping ah. techniques and I, I, I'm watching you and I know, okay, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, <laughs> okay, Peekaboo, Mike Tyson, cool. Yeah, he's uh, good. He was good. He is good. He's still good. Yeah, he's still He still good. fucks yeah, you yeah, up. Fucks if you go to up. ring, he, you will die for sure. Yeah, when you see him showing uh, Francis wow. Ngannou some combinations, you're like, man, Mike can probably fuck him up. Like, <laughs> yeah. at least in a street fight, I yeah. would say, like, oh shit. He's yeah. still good. He no, he he learned his craft to to perfection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just there. Yeah. But he, uh, but he did 1,000 reps. Abs, neck. Yeah, it was old school also, yeah. A shit ton of bodyweight squats and like push-ups and just, yeah, very basic stuff, high repetitions. Yeah. But the idea, what, what, in my opinion, what mm -hmm. is important? 
abs. Abs and neck. Neck because you don't get knocked down so fast mm. if you have a strong neck. Yeah. And abs because you can have the, the strongest legs or the strongest arms. But when you uh, hit the someone, connection. the connection matters. From the, yeah, yeah. From the heel up, mm. everything. And the connection is always here. Yeah. So Louis Simmons always talks about abs as being the most important when training. Also mm. for, for squats and deadlifts, mm. when your abs lose contraction, tension, mm. bracing, then your, your spine moves or your hips shift. Oh. And when your hips shift, you get yeah, yeah. a lateral uh, pain in your back mm. and all the rest. Yeah. So abs, 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 abs. So what, uh, you said Louis Simmons? Louis so Simmons. He's what was the, the prim his primary ab uh, exercise? What? They did everything. Oh, everything. Huh? But the idea was like this. If you, okay, you have main lift, then you have supplementary lift, mm -hmm. and then you have assistance work. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter when, if you do assistance work. He, he had uh, records for everything. He, mm -hmm. The last time I was talking about, he uh, used mm, 20 pound dumbbells, so 10, 10 kilos dumbbells, and he did 200 reps hammer curls. Mm -hmm. This was his record. So he was always striving oh, for records. Wow. 50 reps, next training. 55 reps, next training. Oh, I see. And like push-ups. How many push-ups can we do? Why, yeah. why can't we do 100 push-ups? Push yeah. We are not strong enough. Yeah. Because push-ups are boring. Yeah. You know, biceps curls are boring. No, they are not. Yeah. Because still, for pulling, biceps is the weak link. You get here to here with your lat, la, lats, yeah. but to get over, it's biceps. Yeah. Also here on bench press or shoulder press, you move from chest and shoulders, but lockout is triceps, triceps. Yeah. yeah. So... What do you do for your abs? Do you do some, what, some old, like, hanging leg lifts or... Uh, this, yeah, uh, of course, leg, le leg lifts. I saw you do leg lifts, like, you go very nicely, and we have the bar here, so you go... Leg in. lifts with bar support mm. on thoracic uh, spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that we, I don't lose uh, thoracic spine mobility. Mm. That nice. you know that it's uh, for shoulder yeah, press, yeah. for everything. You need this arch. Yeah. Uh, so that is one idea. Then it's cable. Cable pull downs. Man, this I gotta try. Later. Cable cable pull downs are great uh, because again traction, spine traction, mm. uh, and cable gives you constant tension. Yeah. And then you just uh, add a mini band, and then you mm. have you know peak contraction at, ah, in, the, in, like, in the end. Mm, nice. And then of course uh, zercher carry, front loaded carries. Uh, that sandbag ah. is 105 kgs. Strongman oh. sandbag. Cool. This is brutal. Uh, just just carry, carry carry that shit. Nice. Grab, but you are grabbing it like this. Oh, okay. It's so big, and you get a complete <laughs> destruction. It's uh, such a heavy thing to do, and especially if you go up and down the stairs, it's crazy shit. Uh, most oh. of the people that tried it, they were like, uh, I can't do this. <laughs> Maybe two people in this gym and Matyaj Bilshak and perhaps Luka Podkrasek would do this, but uh, other people there, this is too heavy for them. But this is like uh, old it's crazy farmers shit. work, like when you go in Yogada, like, I like this. Strong mm -hmm. man, I, in my opinion, strong man training is the best. It's good stuff. The okay. best thing you can do for assistance work. Mm. Because strong men, they, they are strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, farmers walks, all of it is very, very good stuff. I like the Atlas Stone lift. Atlas Stone yeah. lift. I have that. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're heavy slam balls. They go up ah. to 90 kgs. And you can Funny do shit, tons of shit awesome. with them. Over uh, shoulder throws, ah. carry deadlifts from the bottom. It's like total ah, like deficit. Yeah, yeah, that's good shit. Yeah. And... Always working on your grip, grip, arm yeah. strength. That's never, you will never see a gorilla that that is not strong. Yeah, yeah. Or chimpanzee. 
you know, you have these all kinds of uh, grip stuff, nunchaki there, nunchaki pull-ups, they are... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. I didn't even notice that's nunchaki. Uh, they are very, uh, very hard to, to pull against. And that rolling thunder and yeah, so many things you can train. It's yeah. never ending idea. How about I just notice you have fucking massive traps. Do you do anything for tra the traps specifically or uh, farmer Sh carries or? Shrugs, something? shrugs. I'm always thinking in three directions. So vertical, uh -huh. horizontal and like this. Uh. So brakes and gas logic. Uh. Okay. If you're doing dips. Mm -hmm. So shrugs are brakes. Shrugs mm. uh, stabilize, stabilize your shoulder. If mm. you don't have strong trapezius, uh, then you are risking of a chromioclavicular injury. This is the joint mm. here. It's not yeah, a true it's joint. A, it's uh, mm. just two things together, uh, the clavicula and the uh, humerus. Uh, and uh, yeah, traps are very important. And you can do them in so many. You do do them options. with dumbbells or what? Dumbbells, like... kettlebells, uh, kettlebells, with straight bar, with with chains, yeah. static, dynamic. Because mm. uh, that's something I've never really done. Like uh, if I try it, obviously I can see why it's working, but I was never have to do it. With it. You have to yeah. do it for bench press, for shoulder press. Mm. It's the weight is. On traps, this is, yeah. I'm thinking like this, the, la, latissimus, lat muscles, mm -hmm. trapezius. You have yeah, double yeah, uh, triangles. Yeah, yeah. This gives you perfect strength. Mm. If this is strong and this is not strong, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. geometry, sacred yeah. geometry, everything must be connected, you know? Mm. And for example, uh, you have 20 kgs barbell, mm -hmm. Normal Olympic barbell, just lift it 50 to 100 reps. Just a regular uh, like delta shoulder delta. flexion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 do it 100 reps. You will feel like a circle in the end. When your mm. hands are like this, it's the same with Shaolin training. They, they go to, uh, or squat, Mabu, mm. or standing uh, upright, and they put hands like this for one hour. And this, build, this builds enormous ligament strength. Mm. And for martial arts, this is important because the speed comes from ligaments. Mm. Ligaments have nervously uh, watching over nervous system. Mm. From this perspective, ligaments are responsible for stretch reflex, for mm. You know, they are elastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have that Italian guy, uh, very fast, skinny dude with glasses. He looks like, uh, I don't know, he's on Instagram very, he's so fast. He's no muscles at all, uh, but he's so fast. Yeah, yeah. And if you come down to a fight, you have Jet Kundu, Bruce Lee uh, logic intercepting Fist, away, Fist yeah. intercepting point. The, uh, so if you want to throw a jab to me, you have to um, step closer. Step closer. Uh -huh. in, if you have intercepting, you know, and if you're very fast, you can kick the the knee very fast. Mm -hmm. You can swipe swipe yeah. that guy. You can intercept him with a punch. You know, the yeah. speed is speed yeah. is important, and speed comes from ligaments. Mm. Because at a certain time I was doing this Shaolin meditation when you are just standing still, like uh, one hour. You are so oh, fucked shit. up from this shit. It's really hard. And I saw Ido Portal also doing it. And oh. I had a, an online uh, client, I was coaching him from Germany, and he said he's, he was living in Germany in, in one city where Ido Portal was living at oh. that moment because he's girlfriend, she was dancing there and blah, blah, blah. And he was doing this shit. And he did lots of uh, spine, uh, spine uh. flow work and blah, blah, blah. But it was a lot of, uh, this is called stand like a tree. Zhang mm. Zhong in Chinese. Okay. To stand like a tree, you, you get rooted. 
And, and you're standing or sitting or... Uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. And just it depends what you want. If you want whole body or standing, mm. you can also sit and do regular uh, meditation, but mm. enormous power comes from this. You can, you can be very... You, you can't be fast if you're right. tensed. Mm. So you learn, here you learn how to be active, but completely soft. Oh, shit. Yeah, so I from see. this you get peak contraction, fast. It's like, bam, explosion mm. stuff. So you have to be uh, very yeah. easy, 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 and bam. The, this is what makes... Uh, you said one hour, you don't move, or? One hour, like this. And then you will, uh, and at certain point, you will feel a fire. It's like mm. this chi energy, the Chinese. Mm. Chinese call it chi energy. Uh, Western world would call it uh, nervous system electricity. Mm. It's potential, it's energy. It's, uh, it's, you have kinetic energy, mm. moving energy, yeah. and potential energy. And with this, you are just accumulating potential energy and mm. this becomes you know the one inch punch guys yeah. Chinese like that yeah this is this comes from this type of, of training this is a, just a question popped in my head is there any way we can measure a chi or potential energy yeah like if you there, hold they... if you hold that uh, electricity uh -huh. diode uh -huh. diodes okay. I don't know they did some experiments with with one guy from Malaysia uh, Jack Ma, no, Jack Ma. One guy, he, uh -huh. he was Chi Master, he transmitted uh, electricity from his hands and he, he hold a LED lamp uh -huh. and he turned it on and stuff. Like. Okay, so there was some... Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. But this is, you know, it's extreme world world you can go in that rabbit hole it doesn't matter but the idea is just learn from them and yeah. apply yeah yeah so normal barbell 100 reps you get trapezius shoulders everything connected like one unit yeah. and it's mm. that's why you can see you know emelianenko and yeah. fi russian fighters doing just the barbell yeah, you know yeah, the barbell for reps yeah everything works if you really um if you really try hard and do this, there are so many modalities to train to to work with. Yeah, yeah, it's a, yeah, that's true. Yeah, standing still is definitely hard training, and one leg standing is also hard. I was uh, I checked once. Uh, uh, I was at the mass and I was standing for one hour, and I was like, man, how long can a human being stand? And then I checked on Google, and the record for standing on one leg was like fucking 70 hours. So I was yeah, like, holy I know. Indian guy. shit. Like, <laughs> Me and my friend, we were uh, thinking about such projects, but... Uh, it's, that's ah, crazy shit. This right? is Indian stuff, you know? <laughs> this is Indian yoga. It's like that guy 20 years with hand uh, ah. over his head, and it, the hand becomes like a tree, you know? Yeah, yeah, I heard ah, that. This is different purpose. It's spiritual training. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think it has more value to them. Uh, For spiritual training, yeah. you can do shit. Yeah, anything is good. Yeah, anything is good. Is good yeah. You can bang your head in a tree. You will get to realize God for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, but for martial arts, yeah, there are many modalities. But, mm. but still, some people they they go only in one direction and the other. Yeah. Uh, my idea is learn from all and unite. Mm. In this gym, you have so many options how yeah. to train. But you know, you, there comes a point when you need to do deload week. Mm. You need deload week, and deload is perfect for such shit. Yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah. Deload week is perfect. For oh, Mac, man, that's for a great idea because I always, uh, like, to me, it's, it's difficult to do a deload week because it's fucking boring yeah. shit. So, if, yeah, yeah. I, I should definitely experiment a little bit, do some freaking farmer's walks and some, some type of training like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm, good idea. Uh, I was curious, how about the, the, the throws? Like, do you, did you ever do you have yeah, some experience with those? Slam balls, slam balls are, are useful, uh, but you shouldn't be too heavy. Ah. Uh, for explosive strength, explosive power, 30 to 40% uh, weight is enough. 
Okay. You know, that's that why yeah. pleometrics work, because they are mm -hmm. like 9.8 meters per second. This is the speed of gravity. Mm -hmm. You know, if, uh, if you uh, throw in an object, if you just release an object from air, the gravitational force is 9.8 meters per second. So mm -hmm. pleometrics work because of that oh, stretch reflex. You know, it's yeah. again ligament power. power yeah. Ligaments. Also, if you check uh, weightlifters, how they squat mm -hmm. with a bounce, you know, yeah, it's yeah. bam, bam, like yeah, a ball. Yeah, yeah. You throw it yeah. and it, the faster down, the faster up. Yeah. Powerlifting is different, uh, different type of squat because mm -hmm. it's not speed strength. It's brutal power, force, force lifting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um. So, yeah, but with ball, it's uh, one good setup I use is on the stairs. Uh -huh. I put uh, a foam, a foam uh -huh. on 45 degrees, so that when you throw it, it bounces back. back to your hands. So you're like bam, bam. So ah, you do five reps nice. and then other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you don't lose uh, momentum, you know, you are ah, doing Ah, that's it. nice. That's almost plyometrically, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, it's, ah, that's nice. Hmm. Uh, so that is one option. Then also I, you have heavy sand, uh, boxing bag, but sometimes I just put that foam, it's like this foam, uh -huh. uh, I put it against the wall and I, I'm practicing uh, punches. Uh -huh. It's full power, but it's, it's no impact. Ah, uh, you go... You know, uh, Japanese, they have makivara training, yeah, yeah. you know, the wooden stuff and they yeah, bam, yeah. bam. Makivara has this uh, mm. effect. Not to, you know, to accumulate too many yeah, yeah. stress fractures, you know, injuries. Mm. You don't get fucked up from 10 reps. You get fucked up from 1,000 yeah. reps. So you can have foam boxing. You can go all out on foam. Whoa. Foam. Foam is, foam. is good. Mm. Uh, you know, it's funny because when I first uh, got a heavy bag and all that shit, I started experimenting. I was like, yeah, Rocky Maxiano had a really heavy one and Mike Tyson. And then I got a, then they put corn in it. Okay. And it was a, as hard as a fucking wall. And then I soon realized, man, this makes no fucking sense. Like if you want to punch with full power, the bag should be soft so you don't fucking... Yeah, you have a uh, so water bag. Have you tried water bag? No, but I would like to try it. Yeah, yeah but water bag yeah. is good it's because good water right? acts like foam. It absorbs yeah. the, the the force in such a way that it's not. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I tried the 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 one that's shaped like this, and yeah, it's a very water. nice feel. Yeah, but with yeah, water. With water. Yeah, yeah. Because bound. Yeah. It's, it's the same like that. Uh, have the, that barbell. It's from United States. It's from company Band Bell, uh -huh. Rhino Bell. It's dynamic. You can use tons of weight, but it's different than uh, training with iron. It's, ah. it's like different uh, spongy feeling. It's stable, but still soft on your joints. Mm. That's and, interesting. Yeah. I think that corn training, uh, wooden training, mm. I, I punched a tree a lot mm. when I did Shaolin. Is is good, but you have yeah. to be. It's good for uh, yeah, yeah. F positional strength to get this yeah. that feeling of bam yeah, to yeah. to ground. It's good for yeah. grounding punches, mm. but you have to be smart, not yeah, overuse it. it. Yeah, yeah, and not overusing yeah. it. Mm. Uh, I did uh, in the past, like one year, I was boxing a tree. Mm -hmm. So long that there is still a hole in, on that tree uh, in the place where I lived. And then I went to my job. I was working as a security at the time. And there were no trees in my job. So I went to the basement and uh, I boxed into the wall. And there is still blood because... Mm -hmm. It oh, was yeah. heavy on my uh, yeah, sometimes you knuckles, get, yeah. but it's uh, at that time I had I really did this like two thousand reps per day, and oh, I had fuck. then okay. electricity yeah. and stuff, and I knew okay this was not good, this was too much, this How is hard chikung. 
so there is there is some value to strengthening the the knuckles sure. like that, right? Because yeah, I did sure. when I was young as well. I would go on the doors and just but do these a two, bit of it. these two, these two, the main one. Yeah. But okay, you don't have to complicate things. You can do push-ups on these on two. Knuckles. Yeah, yeah. yeah it also helps to to align your uh, joints. Yeah, like yeah. this is yeah, joint yeah. integrity. You know that you have mm -hmm. good transference of energy. If yeah. this doesn't work, if your yeah, I see. Connections are mm. important. But how also about, phone is important, everything is how important. How about the shins? I was curious because I, I, I see some, some guys are riding, oh, you're going to kill your nerves and all of that. But then I see the, the Muay Thai guys and they're just like kicking fucking wrenches and shit and all that. So Progressive uh, overload. Progressively. Huh? You think progressively done over an extended period of time is not too damaging for... A... No, because your body, your body protects mm. itself against what you are doing yeah. but the whole idea is always like this you have tissue mm -hmm. your tissue is here yeah. then you put pressure overload the yeah. tissue and then you are here and mm. then you have to wait Eight. 72 hours to get here and reapply pressure mm. and if you are smart you can get better if you're stupid you, you will better. injure yourself yeah. mm. so the idea is you need combination of everything. Mm. And why would I punch the back all the time? I'm punching it every so often just to see yeah. oh, with full power. Yeah. yeah. You can play. You yeah, can play yeah. a lot, move a lot, uh, think, shadow boxing, whatever. Yeah. And over full power is 20%. It's the same idea mm. with power lifting, with everything. Mm. You have to train smart, mm. like you say and uh, use force for competitions for yeah, yeah. people tend to overtrain in the gym yeah. and then when they come to a competition they are like uh, yeah. shit yeah. we have to save some emotional energy mm. uh, for competition yeah still if you train on 75 percent over a long period of time, still mm. you will become better, for sure. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, especially in martial arts and boxing and people like to go hard and overtrain. Uh, maybe even more often than in uh, calisthenics and fitness trainings. Because yeah. just, you just see two guys and they're sparring and it very soon one throws a bit harder punch, another one's a bit harder, then you have a gym war instead of a, a, a correct sparring session. That's why I and stopped. I fucking hate that. Yeah, it's, I uh, stopped going uh, to, to club training when I was yeah. training Muay Thai and stuff mm -hmm. because I know I, I'm very strong. At that yeah. time, I did 2,000 reps of a low kick in the, on a tree. And I knew I, if yeah. I wanted, yeah. I would break your knee yeah. with that guy that I was sparring. Mm. And I was always a fair guy, you know, yeah, yeah. I was saving people, you know, I, I knew yeah. I, I, I had them and I didn't fucking kill them. Yeah. And some people just, they just don't get it. Yeah, sparring is for people, learning. Yeah, 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 exactly right. Yeah. But, so you need a good club. Yeah, and I need a good a club. A good yeah. club with a good teacher. With a good that, teacher, yeah that uh, ease down those mm. stupid uh, guys that yeah. want to show their ego uh, in yeah. training because you can't, uh, it's not good. You just mm. get uh, some ticks yeah. from that. You yeah. become scared and uh, yeah. you don't open, you don't go inside because you are all the, all the time yeah, offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just, yeah, it brings out so many problems and it's, and I feel like that's why people get brain damage because they spar like idiots for 15 years. Like fights, you maybe have 20, 30 in a lifetime, but like shit, if you sparred uh, three times a week for 10 years like an idiot. Uh, yeah, no logic, uh, yeah, makes no, no sense. Lo makes no sense. You yeah. have only one brain. And yeah. My father, you know, he, there you have a picture. He was a sensei, Ooh. master. He trained uh, karate in Ljubljana, mm. Emona Club. He trained for all his life. He was in special forces and he was training wow. all the time. But yeah. he also did some stupid shit with training. But at that time, yeah. there, there weren't so many informations out there like today, yeah, like today on YouTube. Yeah. But he had determination, will and hard work mm. ethic. And, but he was from that er era that 
when they were sparring, you know, teeth, teeth went out and stuff Ooh, like that. Yeah. And when he got 60 years old, all that damage, damage to the brain, it showed up when he was old, you know, older. Mm. You know, like uh, Muhammad Ali and yeah, yeah. your brain can get damaged. So it's very important to be smart and mm. to, to choose good fights. So mm. if they offer you 5,000 euros for yeah. a fight, <laughs> fuck you, no fight, you know? Yeah. Give me more. Give me 10, 10 K. Mm. Yeah. 10 K. Okay. You do a fight. Next fight. It's more like uh, yeah. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. A lot of people don't yeah. like him, but he, he's smart. He, he's a business. He's man. a very smart man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I still have to decide his personality. Maybe I don't like it that much, but everything he's done for the sport and the, the way he boxes, everything is very intelligent. Uh, even training. Uh, very we, we, we are not yeah. in Roman times. Yeah. You have yeah, to yeah. fight to survive. Yeah. You are a yeah, slave. Yeah. You are a free man. You have YouTube, you have money, you have clients, you have coaching. Mm. You need yeah. good fight. You need some guy that is also very known, very famous yeah. and good money and, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing worse than the person fighting for 20 years and then they have nothing, no money to show for just fucking brain damage. It's just yeah, it's stupid. horrible. It's yeah. stupid. Why, why, yeah. why, why would you do this? Yeah. So good, good fights, good, good money. I think if you want to spar, you can spar. But if you yeah, yeah. want to show your skill, do it for, for the sake of earning yourself food for the next 10 years and you can... Eat yeah. like a king and do this properly. Yeah. But still, you know, you said people overtraining. I I watched, you know, Connor for the last his preparations and mm -hmm. camps, and he did so many stupid shit. For <laughs> me, from my uh, coaching perspective, you know. What kind? What kind? I want to okay, see. first, fucking shoes. He was yeah. doing spying <laughs> in those fucking, fucking Nikes. Yeah. His ankle was like this, and I was like, yeah. and yeah. why did he lost? Because yeah. he stepped on his foot like a yeah. fucking moron, yeah. and he, he break, broke uh, that uh, tibia ankle, yeah, yeah, tibia, yeah. and from fucking stupid yeah, yeah. shoes. Yeah, yeah. That's why I see you have uh, separate fingers. Uh, I'm using uh, yeah. most of my training five fingers, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you like those? I, I use like barefoot shoes that I recently, but most of my, like if it's MMA training, all of it is barefoot because you yeah. fight barefoot. Why yeah. would you like yeah. train in shoes and yeah. then you, you fight barefoot? Because uh, also like your toes need to get strong. I broke yeah. my toes and everything. Like yeah. all of this is uh, have to important be, stuff. Yeah. Be an animal. That's mm -hmm. it. Train like an animal. Don't, don't, yeah. don't be a puss. Uh, <laughs> shoes are for pussies. <laughs> Shoes are great to go on a date or to the cinema. Of course, yeah, you yeah. won't go like barefoot, yeah, like uh, crazy people. <laughs> but for training, be an animal star. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The more you go, uh, that's why I like in summertime forest and forest training. And mm. because forest teaches you to be humble, to be, to learn from nature, to, mm. you know. You have it, a setup in the forest or you just go there and you do some... Uh, no, it, in one one time I was on in one forest, then a lot of people came there and I hated it uh. because they were some people came there and smoked marijuana and talked to me like, are you stupid? Why are you standing on one leg? And then my ego was like, should I fucking kill him or not? <laughs> and then other lady came, she was waiting for Jesus Christ to come from heaven and, it's like, <laughs> and I was like, you're fucking stupid, sorry, but please go away from me. And all of a sudden, so many people came to oh. that place. It, it became like a sacred place because of the energy, I don't know. Oh. And then I was like, fuck that shit. And I started doing street workout around Slovenia, you know, the mm. parks and I, oh. we have built a lot of parks. And then again, too many people, I hated yeah. it, too many people, attention. It always comes down, you, you find some people that are stupid and then mm. they want to measure dicks and ego. Yeah, yeah. And, and then at one point I decided I'm like training in this gym. It's my dojo, my cave. Yeah. 
And in the summer, I'm just outside everywhere, nature with my bicycle, oh, nice. doesn't matter. In mountains and... So it's not that single spot anymore. Mm. Do you go, ever take a kettlebell or something and go in the woods or... Or you do no at summer this summer I decided and completely stopped strength training for three oh. months nice. it's 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 hard thing to do oh because right. we are addicted to training yeah. to feel good uh, molecules uh, endorphins and shit and mm. you are scared to become weak Mm. And you get weaker, for sure. Uh, I, when I started in September, I, I felt the difference. 100 kg bench press was heavy as shit. Mm. But I did this on purpose just to let my body heal completely. Yeah, makes sense. To, makes recover, sense. Yeah. to recover completely and then start once again. But I did tons of c cardio on my mm. bicycle. The, this uh, previous summer was uh, was bicycle. Uh, one year before it was walking. I was walking 20k mm. kilometers True. every day, so it was five hours walking all the time, and I was shredded as fuck at wow. 95 kgs. Nice. But it's only three months. If I would mm. do it more, I would go uh, into better, even better form. But this year, that's why I decided uh, to maintain 100 kgs in winter, mm -hmm. so that in summer I will go to 90 kilos. But I will mm -hmm. be a fucking monster. Nice. Because now with 103 kilos, I can do three muscle-ups straight, like perfect. You can do three muscle-ups right now? Yeah. That's with... very impressive. But yeah. no, that sh yeah, yeah, yeah. bam, bam, yeah. when I'm relaxed. So, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to be better and not skinnier. Um, mm. But if, if there would be an opportunity to fight for money, if they would say a good number, no problem. Uh, six months, you know, oriented training, uh, why not? But you mm. need money, not for... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I see. Mm. Yeah, mm. and sorry, I... I went far from that point. So when I saw Connor, uh, mm. they did tons of stupid shit, you know. So, so yeah. I think he should stay with Ido Portal. At that time, he, that he, was, a, yeah. he was good. He was good at the time. He was yeah. good. He listened. He did some muscle ups. It was some valuable strength training he did. Yes, he was a good, he was a better athlete. athlete. Yeah, then yeah. He, he lost his, his mind from cocaine uh, and all that stupid... Okay, sorry, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to expose you, but uh, we are online. So, yeah, that was not the idea. But I yeah. don't know. My, 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 my thinking is that they were doing tons of stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. He should honor his, his mentor, Ido Portal, and learn from him. Because yeah. Ido... He, Ido is Ido. Yeah. Every person that is into movement training knows that Ido is professional. He knows the, the yeah, things yeah, he's, he's learning. Like, he's he also him, yeah. he also weighed, uh, went in yeah, went in yeah. his his rabbit hole, but he is a master for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just exploring other stuff currently. Like I, I don't feel such strong connection with him right now as I did earlier when he was more into strength and hands and in martial arts and shit but still like they like he's doing the work like he he knows some stuff like because i feel like connor and his three guys around i'm like who's in charge here it feels like it's just like he was he he's their baby and they're just trying to make him happy but they don't really know what the fuck they're doing i feel like and he spent so much time on the fucking bike like it's like 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 nothing wrong with a stationary bike but shit it should i don't feel like it should be the primary uh Conditioning for an MMA athlete, shit. Yep. Uh, yeah. And fucking shoes. <laughs> like uh, so you are preparing for a fight? Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't have any clue who your opponent will be or? Uh, no, and it depends because in Slovenia, apparently there's really a, a very few fighters up to 84 kg. So I might have to fight up to 93 mm. for right now. Nah. Don't go there. 
don't, don't go there. there. Huh? I have talked with Elio Artic. You know, he, yeah. Elio Artic, he's from Rogashka Slatina. Mm -hmm. He teaches Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in TNT Chernuce, Ljubljana. Mm -hmm. And we were talking mm -hmm. about his black belt, BJJ. Mm. You go to Elio Artic. If you want to become better, go to Elio Artic for all the ground stuff when you are on the ground. Go no to BJJ or Gi BJJ or both? Uh, he knows strength. He knows. He also has a West Side Barbell certificate. He's a fucking coach. You know? nice. He's not okay. a coach. He's a fucking coach. He knows okay. what he's doing. If you want to be good, definitely hit him up. Um, what was my point? Oh, so we were talking about, you know, weight classes and stuff. Mm. You are 182 centimeters tall. Mm -hmm. Don't go above 82 kilos. Don't go there. Mm, you think just because of height, weight ratio or? Rather go to 78, uh, 87. 77, I think. 77, 70, yeah. yeah. Mm. Rather go there. You think even now, for like for amateur fights, I feel like they're not doing some serious weight cuts. We, are we talking about UFC further down the line or just in general and fighting? Don't go heavy. You will go heavy when you are older. Sooner or later, you will become heavier athlete if you will pursue strength, uh, strength training goals. Mm. Because I was also 80 kilos and now I'm 100 and something. Mm. It, it, this comes with time, but mm. still, Less forces, less uh, injuries. Don't go too heavy. Mm. Heavyweight is heavyweight for a reason, you know? But heavyweights, don't heavyweights have a bit longer career than lightweights due to... Ah, uh, this, this depends, I, I would say. This mm. depends. You can't say this from yeah, a yeah. bold statement, but True. I don't know. I think, mm. imagine if a heavy dude hits you, you get really fucked up. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if yeah. you are on the street and a small Clio <laughs> uh, hits you, okay, still yeah. you will get injured. But if a tank hits you, you are, you know, yeah, yeah, if you yeah. fight um, with Bill Shark. Mm, I see, I see. Because uh, it's actually a good point, because I was thinking, like, I can, uh, my body weight can vary anywhere from 90 up to 85, I feel comfortable. So you think you should be smarter, fight at 77? You, uh, you will be relatively stronger at 78 kilos than mm. at uh, 85. Relatively stronger. Mm. Yes. This is a relative strength yeah, sport. Yeah, yeah. It's not absolute strength. Mm. So it's better to yeah. have some reserve in the pocket than that then you are going up. Out. Yeah, 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 I see, I see. Like, My idea. And also you will be faster uh, with lower weight. If you, and conditioning is better. The less weight you are carrying, the more you can do. Mm. Oh. If you, you know, heavyweights, they, the first two rounds, they are okay, fast, and then it's like that mm. boring fight, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's better to be, to be faster and stronger and con more conditioned than not. Uh, makes sense. Most of the time, you know, Louis Simmons says, strong is strong, big mm. is not strong. Mm. It doesn't mean if you are big, you are stronger. You can be just fatter. Mm. So a lot of lazy people, because they are lazy or they lack discipline regarding food, they eat shit, they train mm, maybe not so good, and then they gain body weight. And they think they are stronger, mm. but it doesn't necessarily okay. mean they are stronger. Okay, now I have another question. Uh, um, how about for, uh, you feel like if I, like for me it's not a problem. I can, I can fast 20 hours a day, like I can eat nothing practically. But for uh, maintaining strength or even gaining it, you feel like if I would be in a caloric deficit, uh, you feel like it would not take away too much? Uh, uh, you have to take HMB. Uh, I have no idea what it is. HMB. HMB. It's a uh, leucine derivative, something from leucine. Uh -huh. It uh, stops your metabolic pathway uh, f for the body not to use uh, muscle tissue. 
uh, mm. the bodybuilders use it's a aminokyselina it's protein it's a protein how do you say aminokyselina in english amino acid ah, yeah, sorry yeah. amino acid <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's amino acid and uh, bodybuilders use this when they go on a cut to save yeah. their body from losing muscle tissue mm. so of course creatine hmb bca you know okay because yeah you you have to reduce caloric intake to go to mm. deficit but still you need amino acids to protect mm. your muscles so yeah, amino yeah. acids okay this is the the answer uh, okay. okay amino acids always to okay. prevent catabolic processes to just lose to just lose fat not muscles mm. So that's the so, key. Uh, so uh, would be nothing wrong if I'm at 84 kgs uh, shredded and I stay there uh, for the next couple of years. Would be okay to think to do for my uh, strength and health development. Yeah, yeah, right? You will also be better with planches and with uh, oh. all that stuff. Mm. Ah, that, that, that's the idea. Uh, big is big, strong is strong. Mm. So if you gain 10 kgs, and your strength co coefficient co co coefficient uh, uh -huh. the, uh, doesn't get better. You, you didn't do anything. anything. Yeah. That's why Lu Lu Louis Simon says if your body weight is 80 kilos, what can you lift with relative mm. strength must yeah. get better, not just the numbers. Yeah. The yeah. numbers See? doesn't mean shit. Mm. If you say my bench press is 160 kilos. For me, that's not uh, impressive for all the people that know yeah. uh, the numbers. You know, it should be yeah. 200 kgs. But, mm. but okay. So, mm. I think uh, you know, if you take a Shaolin monk, he will pull 200 kgs. You know, but he's mm. like. 70 kilos, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of all the strength, conditioning, ligaments, everything that he, they, mm. they train. So I think that just becoming uh, bigger, it doesn't mean nothing. Nothing, right? Okay. Very interesting. Because I was thinking about what would be optimal, like, weight for me. But... I think 82. Mm. 82 kilos. And with some reserve, yeah, 78. 77 kgs, no problem. I mm. had in my past, I had also one, one era of my life, I had 69 kilos. And mm. at that time I did 45 chin-ups. Single, <laughs> single set. Oh, shit, nice. And I did triathlon and whatever. Um, I could fight for eight hours if you want, <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's, okay. So, you know, Bruce Lee was also very lightweight. Mm. And when they asked uh, Chuck Norris, you know, Chuck, so you did some sparring with Bruce Lee. How mm. was it like? Did you know that uh, Bruce Lee had to do the techniques for um, recording vi uh, films? Mm. Like not full speed yeah, yeah, because yeah. the camera didn't catch it. It was yeah. like invincible on the camera. He was so fast. So he had to do everything like 70% yeah. speed. He was so fast that you couldn't fight him. He intercepted you every time. He knew weak, weak links and he was just uh, targeting yeah. your, your, your knee or jab. Mm. But he was so fast. And that's why he said, don't be afraid of someone that uh, trains 10,000 oh. different elements. Be yeah. afraid of someone that trains 10,000 yeah. times one element. Yeah. So if you, for fighting, for stand-up fight, mm -hmm. in my opinion, again, again, just uh, practice front low and back, direct back jab, front low. Oh, uh front low front low uh, low, low kick, kick low kick ah. with or without the step you know yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to hit me you have to step yeah. and hit me and uh, if you know this for a fact and if you if you don't have a guy that wants to go down mm -hmm. to fight on the ground 
that he's a stand-up fighter, sooner or later, yeah, when yeah, you get, get so many me. low yeah. kicks, you will, you will know. Yeah, that's my 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 all in all plan for fighting is first break the legs, then we go to the body, and then head is the last thing. Though. Legs and always like, low to yeah. the waist. Mm. You are not Mirko Krok up to do you know high kicks. Uh, they are just for finisher, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in yeah, the yeah. end, when they are very yeah, yeah, yeah. tired, the hands go down. Yeah, yeah. But you must be flexible to execute a proper high kick, not yeah. to to do yeah, some yeah, yeah. fucked up stuff with your body because the knee is always there. Mm. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Um. So legs low, the rest is is yeah. is. Hands. If I if I get confused in an MMA fight sooner or later, I go back to my uh, what I know best, and that's boxing and a low kick. Yeah, <laughs> like that's efficient. It works if you can jab him, and then he, he thinks about boxing. You throw a low kick off. It just works. Yeah. Muay Thai is the best, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For Man, stand up it, fighting Muay Thai. That took me a long time to figure out. Like le this year, I went uh, deeply into Muay Thai, and man, now I, I love it. Like even the way when I see Sanchai or Buakov or some, it's uh, so technically proficient. It looks like it's it's on point. Like when I see MMA stand-up fights, it looks it's more or less like shit. It's a lot of like it's just not. They're not yet quite as good. Uh, when you look at Muay Thai fighters, they like. Like the game is is written down. Like we know how it. Yeah, looks but it's it's a sport, you know. It's a set of rules, and then you are, you don't have to think as much as you know with with MMA. You know, mm. I was talking with uh, Jakob Nedoch. Uh -huh. He now has only one fight left in PFL, tournier, uh -huh. European tournier, uh, tournament uh, for one million euros. Yeah, he's fighting now. Amazing. Next. And he was talking, you know, there are so many levels of MMA to be good at. So, mm -hmm. but you need coaches, you need good coaches. TNT yeah. Chernucha, I think it's now, the, it's the best club. Well, it sounds Syria. so familiar, TNT Chernucha. Is that the club from Jakub Nedov? Or no? He TNT. trains there since the beginning. It, Rupa, the, all this equipment is from one brother. One brother, he has this club and the other one has oh, okay. the shop, uh, Luta Livre Underground Rupa Fight uh, Gear. Fight shop. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. They are brothers, know... Tony and oh, Tommy. Okay. okay, and then I know the brother who uh, works in the shop and everything. I the... went to there once. Ah, okay, shit. Okay. okay. They are I've the... been there in the gym. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You should go to TNT for sure. If you are in Ljubljana, TNT for sure. Okay. And they have very good uh, coaches and the logic mentality is good. The, it's good. You can learn there, you know. It's yeah, not yeah. an egoistic gym. Mm, okay. Because I understand what you said before. You can get a really bad experience uh, from training martial arts if you are in a stupid gym. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shit can get serious very mm. fast, very, very, mm. very fast. Yeah. yeah. We mm. all done that, try that, and, and that's not the idea of training. Yeah. Mm, so, if you are in Ljubljana, you can come here for strength and mm. there for BJJ and whatever. And awesome. Jakob is there, you know, Jakob, yeah, he, he's yeah. top right now. Yeah, when I saw Jakob, I was like, man, shit, like this guy is seven and one, he's fighting for a million bucks. Like, that's like, that's a, <laughs> apparently they're doing something right. Like, shit. He's a good, he's a smart fighter, he's intelligent. Mm. Have to be intelligent, not stupid. Yeah, yeah. And also for grappling, you can go to Litia, uh, Luka Podkrajšek. He has there. Uh, he has opened a gym. It's called uh, Ivan's Gym. His grandfather was I Ivan, uh. and he has uh, also there a gym uh, for strength and wrestling area. You know, oh, all nice. like a psych psychiatric. Uh, Hospital, it's uh, you no know, ah, soft material are all around, and you have the strongest guy uh, training there. You know, Belshak, uh, Luka Podkrajšek, all the heavyweights are there. So if you oh, want shit. to try grappling, uh, it's it's good to use uh, Belshak mm. for training. 
Because oh, then okay. when you get a skinny guy, uh, 80 ki kilos, you will throw him like a fucking peanut. Yeah. And that heavy sand back. Mm. When you are grappling heavy sand back, that's very, listen, it's very good uh, transfer of strength mm. to grappling. To grappling. And, uh, Where did you buy it? Where is it? It's 100 kilos, you said? A strength shop. It's just an empty sack. You, you buy it and you ah, fill it with... Uh, Sand. It's like 50 euros you have for like... Oh, uh, that's fucking genius. Like, okay. The cheapest way yeah, to get that, a weight. Yeah. Uh, last time I was oh. uh, recording a car vlog, how to get into strength training the cheapest way. Oh. Sand. Yeah. You don't need fucking heavy sand. dumbbells. Just uh, ra uh, bottles with sand, uh, Ruzaks with sand. Yeah. Uh, sand mm. is the cheapest material to... It's, and, Make weight, and yeah. sand is sand yeah. is different way than uh, iron weight because yeah. it's moving yeah. around. It's like mm. a drunken peop, drunken <laughs> person on the floor. It's heavy to grab it, mm. and you will try everything. Uh, uh, if you come to train uh, with us, you will try everything. Sand, sand back training is is important. Um, so, Dominic. Maybe we should stop at that. At this point, we have come around many ideas, so, yeah. and perhaps we can make another another absolutely. podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, this was a lot of fun for me. Yeah. Okay. Was, uh, uh, nice to have you here. So training we can do. Uh, I would like to thank all of you people. I hope that you got any ideas from this i think it was pretty practical yeah but there are so many stuff we can talk about yeah, yeah there's so much shit we have to we're definitely gonna do another one yeah. another one and again new stories yeah. new stuff yeah, yeah why not yeah please subscribe if you can i would like to improve my algorithm on youtube like you don't have to share just make sure to like and subscribe become strong Sayonara. No. <laughs> <laughs>